Whoa, what's that? Today's video is on the NFL voting propaganda. Now, if you new here, what the fuck we do here is read, listen, watch, and we block, talk, break that shit down. And I want to start off by saying you might hear the fan in the background. You might hear one of my twins cry because they right here sleep. Either way, you're going to get what you came here for, goddammit. it. Let's watch this whack-ass commercial by the NFL and block, talk, break that shit down. Yo, Deshaun, how about I only block 60% of the time? All right, big fella. I'm just going to use my left arm for 60% of my passes. Coach, I'm only showing up for 60% of the passes. Cool. I'm only coaching to win 60% of the games anyway. Only 60% of y'all voted in 2016? That's not going to get it done. We can't win if we don't play. Register. 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 Register to vote. You are witnessing the Rebel Network. Now, we understand that these people run in game, right? But what kind of game? That way we can all the way break their game down, goddammit. It's propaganda. That's the name of the game. And that third line, what it say? Propaganda is designed to influence or manipulate people. Propaganda often exaggerates the truth. Propaganda may contain hidden messages. Didn't y'all see that? They trying to influence you to vote. Matter of fact, they trying to manipulate your ass into voting anyway because you know nothing will change for you. And I'm talking to the black man and woman in case you confused about it. They say that it exaggerates the truth. Look how they was like voting will change your life instantaneously around this bitch. And you know that's what's not going to happen around here. And propaganda may contain hidden messages like the simple fact that all the people who was telling you to vote was black players that lets you know they talking to the black audience why you ain't see jj Watt or none of them out there god damn it that's because they not talking to the white audience they talking to the black audience they really need you to partake in this bullshit voting scam god damn it and look at the types the of uh techniques of running game god damn it bandwagon didn't we just not see that oh all the nfl players are voting you might as well vote as well god damn it what they got next to it jump on board like come on be just like the nfl players they're voting look at that name calling candidate x is a big baby like they try to scare you oh uh trump is the big fat devil you know how they get down god damn it a uh, testimonial didn't we just not see testimonial? All of them NFL players like, oh, I'm voting. Oh, how about, you know, basically giving you they nod of voting, God damn it, Like, we got to vote. This voting, voting is this, voting is that. Our glittering generality. Be honest, refreshing, a real change, God damn it. Honest, refreshing, and a real change like Obama did a few years back. Oh, change. We're going to change this. We're going to change the way we eat. We're going to change the way we tackle and all of this bullshit. Our plain folks y'all know when they be like ordinary people just like you may be voting a uh, matter of fact let's go to my last video when i was telling y'all oh they try to pick every last person they can oh they got the rebel this rebel right here is marching in the streets yet she's still gonna vote that's what plain folks mean you know when they trying to relate directly to you oh good old average joe and all of that bullshit oh you got card stacking when they say oh well if trump get back in then he gonna take the social security the welfare and this and that and the third well guess what black people don't even fucking lead in those statistics y'all when you go through this bullshit and y'all already know i did the video with all the numbers and shit like that black people don't lead in welfare social security or none of that old bullshit either everybody else is in front of us or we at the same level as others god damn it and they have the last one right there transfer when you vote for him you vote for hitler basically oh if you vote if you don't vote for biden then you basically voting for hitler you basically voting for trump that type of bullshit so we got to understand when game is being ran i know some people don't have an attention span to watch this part god damn it and you should leave now now we about to apply what we just learned to that whack-ass commercial yo deshaun how about i only block 60 percent of the time all right big fella i'm just gonna use my left arm for 60 percent of my passes coach i'm only showing up for 60 percent of the passes Cool. I'm only coaching to win 60% of the games anyway. Only 60% of y'all voted in 2016? That's not going to get it done. We can't win if we don't play. Register. 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 Register to vote. 
Our logic is irrefutable. Now, was anybody able to point out exactly what techniques they using? For me, I'm going to go ahead on and say bandwagon, name calling, and testimonial, goddammit. You know why? Because it was a bandwagon. A whole bunch of black players telling people to vote, essentially. Now, guess what? I know you're probably saying, nah, they was just saying 60%, 60%, and that's where the name calling comes in. Because it's like they saying you dumb without saying you dumb as hell for not voting, goddammit. Think about it. 60% ain't gonna do this. Oh, 60% of my arm, 60% of this. Basically, they saying you dumb. How you gonna get the job done if only 60% of you voted, supposedly? So that's name calling and bandwagon. And the testimonial comes in at the end when they all was like register to vote register to vote basically because they all voted and they seem to think that it works out really good for them why i have no motherfucking idea god damn it why i have no idea and if you black you know damn well voting does not work i know a lot of y'all like to say oh vote down ballot and all of this old bullshit all you doing is voting for the next barack obama god damn it the next ben crump because it don't matter what side you're on if it's democrat or republican all you're doing is voting to make the next person popular and then they gonna get paid off and become a puppet that don't work for your motherfucking ass so you could vote down ballot thinking congressman wilson and all of them alderman wilson and all of them gonna get the job done but they sure in the fuck not and they didn't so far think about it we done been through decades y'all have an alderman a governor a senator or any of them directly changed your fucking life hell goddamn no y'all hell no now let's block talk break down this whole dumbass video anyway what did we see from these whack ass players you are witnessing a rebel network now let's block talk break down how this dumbass commercial went that dude at the top i'm guessing he an offensive lineman because what he bust out and said is how about i block 60 percent of the time round this bitch and think about this my question to him how about both parties in the United States ignore black people 100% of the time around this motherfucker and like I told y'all you might hear the twins in the back and that's because I'm an actual father but I gotta speak on this bullshit propaganda then after we get his dumb ass talking about blocking for 60% of the time when these people ignore us 100% of the time we get Deshaun Watson crazy ass coming through I think he a left handed quarterback because what he bust out and said was I'ma just use my left arm for 60 percent of the passes around this bitch we don't give a fuck what you do because think about what you asking us to do vote for the left arm of white supremacy while the right arm punch us in the face god damn it while the right leg kick us in the ass god damn it and while the left leg kick us in the face or in the throat god damn it or if we vote for the right hand of fucking uh supremacy around this bitch then the left hand gonna kick us and y'all know how it goes and then we have them two dudes down there i don't really know who they is you dig i don't be knowing who these people is without the helmet but what they say coach i'm just gonna show up for practice 60 percent of the time well guess what you sound just like the democrats because they only show up when they need to vote 100 percent of the time god damn it that's when you gonna see uh democrats 100 percent of the time and that's when they need your goddamn vote so get the fuck out of here with the bullshit and then who came through uh pete carroll lame ass what he said oh it's all right if y'all don't show up for if y'all only show up for 60 percent of practices because he only coaching to win 60 percent of the games anyway think about it think about it they saying you dumb because you ain't showing up black people and we already established that they talking to black people because all the people who was telling you to vote were black god damn it they were black and Pete carroll laid up there and said oh well i'm only coaching for 60 percent to win 60 percent of the games anyway you kind of like the democrats they only coaching for fucking what 100 percent of the black female vote while witnessing the rebel network yeah i said it pandering to 
black women, goddammit. it. They really think that black women don't have brothers, uncles, or fathers. Better yet, like they don't have sisters or brothers or mothers that could have been Breonna Taylor, goddammit. it. They not falling for the bullshit. They not going to just vote because of they capify alpha or because she looked like Barack Obama or Barack Obama said it was cool, so we might as well go vote for Joe Biden. That's not what we doing this time, God damn it. And look at Pete Carroll. Let's break his shit down in case y'all think he was there to influence uh, white people. That is not what he was there to do, God damn it. He was there basically in place of Joe Biden to tell you if you won't vote, if you won't vote at 60%, he gonna only fuck with 60% of the population. And they ain't gonna look like your ass, God damn it. It's gonna be other motherfuckers that he tending to. And we already know that's what he gonna do regardless if you turn out 100% or at 1%. He will not be doing the motherfucking thing for you. He gonna do just like Obama and turn the White House into a motherfucking uh, a rainbow flag or something. You really think that Joe Biden, God damn it, I know what's best for the Negro Joe Biden gonna help you? Hell no. So Pete Carroll was basically there in place of Joe Biden to say, man, you know, I'm only trying to help 60% of the population anyway. Think about it, y'all. Think about the bullshit. Now, what, let's watch the most alarming part of the whole commercial to me, goddammit, and that's this part. Only 60% of y'all voted in 2016? That's not gonna get it done. We can't win if we don't play. Now, did y'all hear this fool? You are witnessing the Rebel Network. He said, only 60% of y'all voted in 2016? What do you mean by y'all? Think about it. Y'all, who is y'all? He talking to black people because he wouldn't talk to nobody else like that, goddammit. So that's further proof that they directly talking to black people and telling them they dumb for all of this 60% bullshit, goddammit. Pay attention to when game is being ran. He said only 20, I mean only 60% of y'all voted in 2016. That's not going to get the job done. I mean, that's not going to get it done. Well, what you mean? Because a president was elected in 2016. So that lets you know they trying to get you to vote Democrat because the job was done in 2016, right? Everybody who voted elected a president around this motherfucker. They got the job done. They elected another puppet to keep them blind for another four years around this bitch. So what do you mean? That means he letting you know which way you supposed to vote. Democratic. He says at the end, if we don't play the game, we can't win. Or better yet, let me say it accurate, accurately around this bitch we can't win if we don't play the game and all of that bullshit think about this y'all we don't have time to play a fucking game talking about we can't win if we don't play the game well guess what we can't face reality if all we doing is playing a fucking game all day uh, a lot of y'all had a brother tell me some bullshit about playing chess and checkers and i ain't gonna say bullshit but it's a thought process i run into a lot where people are like man it's chess not checkers man we gotta vote for this one try to get that one in and and then when he get right there, we could do this. Well, guess what? That's been done before. God damn it. Even with Barack Obama, he is the example of that being done to the highest level around here. Man, we vote for Barack right now and he become this and then he become that. And then he going to do something for us later. And guess what he done? Not a motherfucking thing. So guess what? We ain't got time to be playing the game. We going to leave playing the game for you. And matter of fact, you should shut up and finish playing the game, throwing the ball or catching the ball stick to that because this ain't for you around here trying to influence us to vote for some fucking lesser of two evils guess what i will repeat this y'all a good man does not choose evil under any circumstances god damn it give me motherfucking liberty or give me debt ain't that ironic god damn it give me liberty or give me debt because i'm not about to choose the lesser of evils just so i can play chess or all this pussy footing around with Democrats and Republicans. Man, if you don't sit the fuck down. You remember what Benjamin Franklin and all of their supposed founding fathers said, right? Give me liberty or give me debt. Them dudes said they ain't paying taxes and all of that, goddammit. So the rest of y'all who still want to vote, you want to play the game, go ahead on and do that, goddammit. But for the rest of us, we making it known. We not voting. We not voting until you speak for us, until you do for for us goddamn until you do right by me goddamn it everything y'all touch gonna turn into bullshit once again y'all holler at me